Okay, so if we start with the heat, which is that little sun picture, um, the heat is what situation Paul is in at this time, or the situation he's talking about. So, if we look back into, into the text, um, what, what do you think Paul was facing at this time? What's he talking to, to the Corinthians about? Where has he been and what situation did he find himself in? So basically they're, they're in Asia and they genuinely think that they're going to die. So this is the situation they're in, this is the pressure that they're in. So if you write that into the, the he there, um, this is the pressure that's going to, they're going to either see their sin or they're going to see the, produce, the fruit that God can produce. <coughs> so fearing for his life. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. fair. No, I'm sure they force breaks in the situation. Yeah, I've got the right point of hammer. Yeah, yeah, she sure. has. I thought this would be for our work. Oh, that's would be our own personal one. It's interesting that it's group friends and group Yeah, we'll, we'll do our own personal one after this. This is just to get us used to yeah, how it yeah. works. How it works, yeah. yeah. Has everyone written that down? Does everyone get that, that the situation is? Mm -hmm. okay. um, next we're going to look at the thorns. And we're going to look at the question that says, just down the side here, what behaviour did or could have resulted from what Paul wanted and believed in his heart? So what, what sort of behaviours do you think could have come out of? Um, the situation that they're in that was would, would have been simple. It may not have been in here because he actually has a good response to it. Mm -hmm. but, but what sort of behaviours do you think? If you were in that situation and you were going to react in a way that maybe isn't godly, what do you think those, those behaviours could be? Could run away. Yeah. 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 Natural right. responses. Fight or flight. Yeah. yeah. Run away. We've had a lack of faith as well. Yeah. God would left them all abandoned them. So many times do not fear in the Bible itself, doesn't it? So even really, I wonder, I suppose, to some degree, even to have that fear, I suppose that's lacking in trust in God, though, isn't it? If you are, there's lots of encouragement, I guess, though, doesn't it? Do not fear, do not fear. Mm. Lots in the Bible. Yeah, it's not denying the circumstances, though, is it? Well, that we shouldn't do that. We should accept that we have circumstances that are difficult and are fearful. It's how we deal with them that yeah. determines our faith. Yeah. That's a really good point. He talks about the circumstances, he says they're, they're um, far beyond our ability to endure. Mm -hmm. And um, so that kind of giving up, mm -hmm. you know, in a situation where God is re require one, cert one response, it's too hard to just give up and yeah. just react in right. some way. Mm -hmm. Give in, so, yeah, give in. so you could, that's, like, that's like sort of running away from the problem, just giving up. Yeah. Um, so, and then we see up here, it says, what could be the consequences of this sinful behaviour? So what do you think um, could come of this, like, running away or, or this um, lack of faith? What do you think the consequences could be? Yeah, so this is, like, a really obvious sort of example of this because if Paul hadn't kept, kept on with his faith and things like that, we wouldn't have the new, we wouldn't have this letter even. Mm -hmm. So it's like it's really it's really good that he carried on and he didn't listen to those sorts of things that he'd have with like giving up and things like that. But it was good. Um, and the next question, based on this situation, what could Paul have wanted and believed in his heart? What sort of lies do you think he he would believe or what sort of things can he want? One instead of what God's maybe got for him. Well, it's about that being the individualism, isn't it? It's um, putting your, you could wrongly put your faith in yourself, couldn't you? And um, yeah. want to trust in your own abilities. Yeah. Really hard to word that way. Yeah. 
sin of his life. Um, yeah. No, not knowing God. Yeah. He'd want to go his own way. Yeah. And like where he was saying that they saw death, he may believe in his heart, which he, it would be really hard to admit, but he may believe in his heart that God's not going to deliver him from this. Mm. Mm-hmm. And that would be a lie, but it would be something that <coughs> would drive. So that sort of like thing that he would believe in his heart, that God's mm. not going to deliver me, would be the sort of thing that would cause him to give up. Or that, um, that God doesn't care. Yeah. Believe in his heart, God doesn't really care, otherwise he'd do something about mm. it. Because mm. he, he may not have delivered him, because mm. Paul was ultimately martyred, wasn't mm. he? So. But God still cared and loved loved him mm-hmm. and was sufficient. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He might have reacted just by blaming everyone else. Just another thing, you might have believed that he doesn't have any choice in the situation. Yeah. To react to her, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, we like to justify things, don't we? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we looked at the heat and the thorns. Now we're going to come to the cross, which is um, in relation to this situation that Paul's in. Who is God actually? And what has he done to provide for him? He provided grace and peace for him. Comfort. Mm-hmm. If we look at the verses, it says, Indeed our hearts felt the sense of, of death, but this happened that we may not rely on ourselves but on God who raises us from the dead. He has delivered us from such deadly peril and he will deliver us. Mm. On him we've set our hope that he will continue to deliver us as you help us in your prayers. Mm. So it's like God was a, a deliverer for them. Mm. And he was exactly what they needed in that in that situation. And the source of hope as well. Just also specifically there, it's like if he did die in those circumstances, God has delivered him from death, mm. even so he can't lose in that situation ultimately. So that, that will come into to the next bit, the fruit, won't it? So if we look, is everyone finished with this or not? With the cross? No? All right, then. Can't think, can't we, that our prayers don't make a difference, really? And that mm. Paul clearly believed that they did. Mm. And they were um, encouraged to rely on God who he raises the dead. Mm. So, if we look at the fruit now, and we go in contrast to the thorns, if we think about how could Paul have directed his heart face and made God is and what he's done so now that we know what, what God was like in that situation 
how is it that Paul directs his heart into trusting God? So if we look at if we look at the passage and think about how it is that he trusts them in his heart, in contrast to what could he have believed in his heart? And we said mm. he could have believed that God doesn't deliver mm. and he doesn't care. That Christ suffered mm-hmm. as well. Yeah, so he understands. Yeah, so God understands yeah. and he does care. Talks in verses three and four about the God of all comfort who comforts mm-hmm. us in our troubles so that we can comfort those. Mm-hmm. So that experience was one that where yeah, Paul obviously found comfort mm-hmm. and is now able to comfort others. So because of the view of the cross and the view of UG six, his heart and what he believes in his heart is gonna change because he believes now that that God is a deliverer and he answers prayers and he's a comforter. Now in his heart he knows in this situation God is a deliverer and he does care about him in the situation. Mm-hmm. So how could Paul have um, responded based on who God is and what he's done in this situation? And you can look at that in contrast with what behaviours could have resulted from Paul, um, from what Paul wanted in his heart. So in his <coughs> behaviours, he's he's trusting God, yeah. and he doesn't lose hope. And from that, from that um, behaviour, what could have been the result from those behaviours? From him trusting that God's going to deliver them and God's going to care cares about them, and there's a hope for the future. Um, what was the result of that? God delivered. Yeah, God delivered. And what do we have from from the result of him believing? Mm. Yeah. Also, he's um, throughout quite honest about um, suffering mm. and sharing in suffering. So 